Gregory Odom Jr. here at 14. Seen a few players on this hole today. Some indifferent results. See what Gregory can do. <laughs> That's not a surprise. I'll tell you what, his short game has been so tidy this week or this day. That's what it is all about now. Patrick Wenden, Wenda Pole, excuse me. There's a good effort there. We've seen a lot of putts going in. Over at 17, Argyle Downs on the tee at the par three. We'll take a look at it. our top tracer technology. Oh, he's going to stare this one down for a while. Be the number. Oh, 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 thought about it. Back at 18, this is Jay-Z Dukes trying to finish up with Birdie. Love seeing that he got the ball on top of that ridge, right back of the hole, out of the green. He knew it, about five feet short. Back at 17, second for Ron Darius Walters. I'll tell you what, that's so steeply downhill. And <laughs> How about that? All right, there's two. Ho hum. Got to love the coordination of the outfit right there. And, and pretty quick. We say that a lot out here, but these greens are nice and they're moving pretty quickly. Ooh. Another save and another fist pump. <laughs> Back at 17, Steve Kaibare from Canton, Georgia, senior at Dalton State College, first team in a IA All American. I got to follow this group earlier this morning when they started. Loves to play that draw a little closest to the pin contest. Take that, Everett. <laughs> Christopher Stiles here at 16 for birdie. And he got a bit unlucky with this third shot. Ended up in the bunker and not a great lie, but this is rolling really well. Had a little pace to it, Doug. Tell you what, he made a birdie putt similar to that on the first hole. And that's kind of how his day has been going. He's been rolling in from everywhere. Gregory Odom Jr. on the tee at 17. Setting up for a big draw as aim out to that right bunker. And this is really good contact right at the flag. Okay. This pin is, uh, <laughs> we might have to see one today. Back to the green at 18, Steve Katbare looking to finish it up. See if he can roll it in for birdie. Yeah, this is a young man's demeanor that has just impressed me from meeting him yesterday. He got in late, didn't even get a practice round, just kind of showed up ready to play. Let's make our way over to Allen Stevens. Yeah, this is a 10 for the big bird. Gotta have it. And she hit it, she did. That was for Eagle and a share of the lead. What do you know? Allen Stevens now four under, tied at the top with Marley Franklin. All right, back at 11. Brianna, excuse me, Brenna Priap from Stockton, California, freshman at Grand Canyon. She, she can represent for the Lopes right here. Absolutely can. What a shot from Brenna. Good number, good swing, good result. Had trouble off the tee. Now he walked all the way up to the green, trying to figure out the best place to play this ball. 125 yards. See if he tries to go high with this one or low. Oh, he went high with man. it, didn't hit any trees. Straight upstairs, didn't touch a thing. Landed and what a great shot. Right next to the hole. Wow. What a shot. Over to 11, Jackson just off the green. Going with a wedge here, debated it for a while, and really good play coming out of that dormant rough right there. Looks like she made the right call. 101 to the hole, but it is five up from this point. 11 paces on, needs a good wedge shot here to get some momentum back. Man, it's one of the better designed greens. You're, you're hitting uphill to a front to back sloping green. Look at that, got the ball to check right inside of three feet. See if she can attack from here. Really well done. Oh, this now for Birdie. She can roll it though. I wouldn't be surprised if this one fell. How about that? Walk it in for one of the three high schoolers in the field this week. One man, two women. T shot on the way at 17 for Morgan Harrell. Damn, it seems like the Bison have, have really taken advantage of this scoring hole today. A very smart birdie it would be if she can get this right to left putt to go. Really good look. Well, she hit her line. She made it. Pays it off. That's the third fist pump I've seen today. All right, I, I got to see a smile come back. Not going to okay. happen, Burko. <laughs> She's not going to do it. At 18, Alethea Hines. Take a look at it. 
Lincoln just up the ridge. Needs something good to go her way. There you go. That's how you finish up. Going with the pin out right here, right to the left, breaking putt. Catch oh, the edge. Oh, good catch hole. What a day it was. Great scoring, a wonderful golf course. Your overall perspective, what we saw from the men and women. Really pleased with the scores that we saw shot, how they managed this golf course, able to kind of ebb and flow with how the, the course and the whole locations were set up. We saw a lot of players play out of the fairway. We saw the trouble if you didn't find the fairway. Looking forward to tomorrow, Burko. It's about playing from the short stuff. Four under leading the way for the women. Over on the men's side, Christian Rodriguez, six under, setting the standard. 11 of the 21 men breaking par on day number one.